Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today I have a very exciting video for you guys. As you guys can see from the title, this is a collaboration project pan intro video. So this project pan was created by Miss Emily here on YouTube. Her channel name is Emily and Max. I will have her link down below. I'm pretty sure she has a playlist, a document, some sort of list where everyone that is involved in this project pan is on that list. You guys can go ahead and check them out. Everything will be down in the description box if you are interested in binge watching this. This is the second year that she is doing this project pan basically this project pan allows you to resurrect products from other project pans that you did not meet your goal or finish or pull in products that have been collecting dust that you've been wanting to get but have never had that opportunity to use in a project pan so there is no limit to what amount of products you can choose this does start today on april 30th and it will end six months from now which is halloween so august are uh, october 31st and we are doing monthly updates on this so you're gonna see a bunch of people if you're watching a lot of project pan channels you're gonna get flooded with them today but it's very exciting because now I get to meet new people as well as have something to binge watch so I decided to choose six different products but before we get into it if you're new to my channel welcome to the familia my name is Alejandra I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with a dash of project pan if that is something that interests you subscribe join us and now without further ado let's go on with my products now as I mentioned this is not a project where you have to have a specific amount of product you can choose all graveyard ones or all resurrection ones whatever your heart desires this is a rolling project pan so once we're done with a product you can roll in something else new in either one of the two categories so I have some resurrecting and some graveyard. It's very hard for me to find resurrecting ones because you guys know I'm the type of person that likes to finish completely products instead of just hitting pan and putting them away. But I've been better at rotating my makeup collection doing that. So I've been doing a little bit of both. So we're gonna get started on these. So I have a three resurrecting products and I have a three graveyard products, ones that are collecting dust in my collection basically. First product I wanna share with you guys is this Bite Beauty Lip Primer. This wasn't a project pan last year. My goal was to finish this up. I made a nice dent in it, but I never got a chance to finish it up. This is how much we have left on this product. I will mark it as usual. You guys know if you follow me in my project pans, you know that I mark, document everything for you guys. This does still smell good it's a lip primer so I just have to remember to start using this whenever I put on a lip product now my goal is to finish this up I got six months I am pretty sure I should get this one done finally this year the next product that I have for you guys has been in two separate project pans over the last two years and I've not been able to finish it up but it is such a beautiful color I still do not have one similar to it I have been recommended some over the years but it's been harder to find it now that a lot of brands aren't as accessible or or use these colors in their collection. So this is the Lancome Jade Crush. So this is how much we have left. My goal is to finish this up. I have a feeling I will finish this up this year. I only use this in the waterline. I'll try to incorporate it more on my upper lash line just to use it up this year. It is a beautiful shade here. I'll give you guys a swatch. I have to sharpen this sucker up. But there it is, isn't that gorgeous? It really stands out, makes my face, like my eyes just come out in the summertime with a copper eyeshadow and this on the waterline. It just looks so summery and beautiful. So my goal is to finish this up. It is starting to dry out where the actual pencil in the center is starting to wiggle. So I just wanna finish it up this year. I think this year is my year to finish this one up. The next product that I have was an Oops product from this year. There's two other project pans I have going on. Actually, there's five other project pans I've going on, but two of them I kept mixing up, and this product just got thrown out of the shuffle. Don't ask me how. I got things confused. This wasn't a project pan. Somehow it got kicked out and replaced by something else. Not intentionally, just accidentally. So that's how my brain works. So I'm putting it in this project pan. This is the, the Brow Gal eyebrow this is a medium brown it is completely brand new my goal was to use this up in a different project pan <laughs> i can't even remember what project pan i actually put this in to be honest with you it is one that brings a spoolie on one side has a sharpener here it's a nice shade you know nothing to scream about there it is i can sharpen it up make it look all nice and pretty it's one of those pencils that just looks nice you know i guess it's a practical product, but it, it will do. It will suffice. So my goal is to finish this up. I am still working on that eyebrow product that is killing me, but it's almost done. So hopefully I'll get to this somewhat, get some progress out of it. I don't think I'll finish this up in six months, to be honest with you, but something is better than nothing. Now for my three graveyard ones, the ones that are collecting dust. 
Hmm. Two of them I started using more in the last month or so to really see if I want to pan these and sure enough here they are. Uh -huh. I just finished panning a pot lip product and as I looked at my lip balms and my lip glosses I had one more and I want to get rid of it because you guys know I don't like potted products. At least not for the lips. I don't mind them for the eyes. This is the BKR Paris Water Balm. So this is like a lip balm. It's a very very tiny sample i don't even know how i got this it's probably in a beauty box somehow i have been getting some use out of it as you guys can see right there i only use it at night it's really nice it's kind of like a thicker type of balm but it does moisturize my lips i love the fact that it has no scent has no flavor it has no coloring to it so i don't get it all over my sheets or anything but it is really nice i just scoop it out with my nail and then put it all over my lips this is solely a night treatment for me for my lips i'm not going to use it throughout the day so this is going to take me the six months i'm sure it's a tiny product but i only use it at home i'm not going to put this anywhere to use it up because i don't want to keep digging my dirty fingers in here my goal is to finish this one up so far everything that I've been sharing with you guys is to finish things up. I don't think this will be done, but you know, we're going to work on it. The fifth product that I have for you guys is something that is brand new that I've been meaning to put in a project pan. It's just, I haven't found the right one yet, but here we are. This is the Jordana 12 hour made to last eye pencil in continuous almond. I plan on using this as a primer for my eyelids in the summertime. My eyelids get even more oily. So I need more protection, more barrier to have my eyeshadow not crease or fade as fast as typically they would. So I'm still going to use a primer, eye primer, but this is what I want to put on top. Normally, I use a color tattoo or shadow stick this year I decided to do this shadow stick this is completely brand new can you guys see the the actual plastic is still on here so I'm gonna have to take it off I will mark it just know that this was brand new I will mark it on a pencil or on a piece of paper you guys can see the progress on it I'm gonna try to use this up I don't think I will make it in six months because I panned a shadow stick last year and it took me 10 months so I don't think I'll finish it but I want to get as close to it as possible so these two product I want to get as close to us finishing them as possible now the last product is something that I know I will not finish I may not even put a dent in it but since I'm using it now every day I want to weigh it and see how much I'm using of it. This is my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. So I only use this for my under eyes, you guys, and I have quite a bit of product sitting up on the sifter. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Quite a bit of product sitting up on the sifter, so I, I don't want to shake it to add any more on top. I just want to, I don't know, let's put a gram type of pan. Like, let's use five grams. No, you know what? Let's yeah, let's do five grams. That's at least a little bit less than a gram a month since this is a six month project. I'm only using it on my on my uh, under eyes. So I don't think that I'm going to get, oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Five grams, maybe too much. I don't know, for six months. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. I use this every time I wear makeup. I only put a little bit. I do not bake under my eyes at all. But it does make my under eyes, like sets my concealer, but doesn't make my texture accentuate or look super drying which i can't stand so this is a perfect powder for me again my goal is just to use five grams that may be overreaching i don't know how much i can use but using it now is better than it's sitting in my collection which i've been able to find use for it and i've been happy with the way and the technique that i've been using it under my eye to make it look really pretty so ooh, that is my sixth product so there you guys have it there are my six products three of them i am resurrecting and three of them i am dusting off of the dust that's been sitting around on it i will link everything down in the description box so you guys can check out everyone else in this project pan thank you guys so much for watching thank you emily for allowing me to join this year i loved it last year and i had so much fun following it so i'm very excited to see who joins this year and everyone's videos on this don't forget to uh, go check out emily as well subscribe to her she is the the sweetest person you will meet she's so soft-spoken and such a gentle soul i really enjoy her channel if you enjoy my content you're going to enjoy hers as well so thank you again for all of your support i'll put more videos right over here for your enjoyment until then bye guys